Hi everyone, welcome to the sale of this 2007 Honda XL1000 Varadero. Uh, this has just come in to us as a trade-in. Um, it's been treated to a full paint scheme in the, or well, very similar should I say, to JPS sort of paint in a gloss black with some lovely gold wheels. Um, the paintwork on it obviously is the first thing I'm going to come to. I'll walk you around the bike and show you all the panels. Um, we have got, if I come in very close, very small stone chipping on the bike um, you could touch in a tiny bit of a black paint pen if you wanted but we haven't done anything there um, it's obviously had a professional paint job bike's fully HBI clear but um, obviously I can see this had a, a paint job on there uh, it's got some full engine bars on and it's got some nice Denali LED spotlights which are put up on a separate um, button up there just under the handlebars tank's in very nice condition um, again if you just look in you can see where the panels have been painted just a couple of marks around on the um, fairing sort of parts there uh, it's got the proper Honda genuine luggage boxes a few little scuffs on the outer plastic part of there but generally speaking it's a very nice bright bike uh, it's got the Givy luggage box rack on now. I have got a second hand box if someone wanted it, it's in the wrong colour, but um, you know, if you want a box thrown in for free that you'd have to paint, you're more than welcome to it. Um, it has got some fuel exhaust, I'm gonna fire the bike up in a minute. Sounds absolutely lovely with them. They are BSAU stamped with removable baffles, and there is a uh, Scott oiler on the bike. Um, it's on there, it is feeding through. We are not a lover of Scott Oilers here, as a lot of our regulars would know. Um, it's the only thing we don't warranty on a bike, anything after market. Um, I'll leave it on there or I'll pull it off if you wanted me to. Um, it's a nice little bonus, but it's certainly not a product that I um, sort of promote in the politest possible way. So yeah, coming around to the left-hand side. Um, seat, by the way, is in very nice condition. Um, all the panels that get around here are lovely few light marks on the plastic there there's no cracks or anything silly um, chain sprockets in very good condition there um, loads of life left that's a heavy duty gold chain on there um, bring it around to the engine side back up to the tank on the side very nice some of the decals cut into the gold to match up with the wheels so yeah all, all in all very clean and tidy bike uh, a few age related marks and a few small stone chips that are showing the paint underneath where the paint job's been done. Uh, just see a couple of marks just on the um, hand guard there, and it sounds a bit pedantic, but just want to show you everything. Uh, it's got tall, lightly tinted Ermac screen on there as well. So if we pop round and pop the ignition on for you, there's a uh, Garmin holder here as well, we'll leave that on the bike. So we've got 38165 miles. This model's got ABS as well, um, which is quite a nice extra. A lot of bikes out there without ABS these days. So the pipe's on there. Doesn't sound offensively loud at all. A big thousand twin like this. That is not a lot louder than standard. I think if you take the baffles out, it's a totally different um, kettle of fish. 38.125. Um, for anyone that is unaware, ABS lights, so I do get this quite a lot with new customers with ABS. ABS light will always be on, on the bike until it registers with the wheels turning. I think from memory, Honda's around five miles an hour and then the light goes out. Um, so fully working ABS on the bike. Um, that's about all we've got with it. I'll run through all the paperwork on the description of the advert. It's a, it's a real treat. It's been very well looked after by main Honda dealer. Um, there we go. Thank you very much for watching.